Hey there, welcome to the Mobility Shop Live. Uh, I'm Justin Fox, I'm here at the Mobility Shop. Uh, today, uh, just waiting to see if I guess some people come on live here. Um, again, welcome to the Mobility Shop Live. Um, this is a live session. We're gonna look at, uh, we're gonna look at a topic of hips and knee surgeries. So this is a sort of a series, or it's a one, one part video. I'm gonna be making a, a bit of an offer to you at the end. Uh, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Uh, but basically today we're gonna be talking about uh, recovery made easy. Uh, so we're gonna be looking at uh, recovery made easy. It's how to recover from uh, replacement surgery, so hip, knee uh, replacement surgery, uh, basically without all the misery. So going to go through, we're going to look at the three myths of how to how to recover from replacement surgery without all the misery. Um, and before we get started, you know, obviously looking at, you know, recovery made easy. So we, we work here at the mobility shop with a lot of different uh, families and people uh, that are in sort of waiting stages uh, for or pre-op uh, for a hip or knee surgery. Uh, we work with, you know, the surgeons, we work physiotherapists, we work with a lot of people in the healthcare space you know around you know the ortho side of of, of uh, hips and knee surgery so we know what we're talking about we've been through a lot of it uh, we've worked with people as I mentioned sort of pre-op uh, we've seen people obviously you know just you know the day of operation and then obviously people post-op so um, you know we we've seen them at all spectrums and we've worked with as I mentioned the surgeons um, you know the the physiotherapists the therapists um, the occupational therapists everyone we've worked with them all um, so we understand the process maybe better than everyone because we we see it from all different angles um, so that being said, I'm gonna get right in. I'm gonna look at the three myths that uh, I think people have. Um, you know, I was talking with a gentleman the other day. Actually, this is not really a myth, but I was talking with a gentleman the other day. You know, he was coming in, um, he was having hip surgery. Um, he was gonna have one done, and then I believe they're gonna do the other very shortly thereafter. Um, and that's often the case, you know, you have one, you need to get the other done uh, very shortly thereafter uh, because it is, it is quite difficult. Uh, you know, the pain obviously and the stress on one often deteriorates the other. So we'll get into myth number one is, uh, we'll talk a little bit about it, but I think myth number one goes without saying, um, this is the myth. The myth is that you sit and wait. So here in Canada, as I mentioned, I was speaking with someone, the, the gentleman I was speaking to, he was actually going down to the States to sort of fast track his surgery. Uh, but here in Canada, here in Ontario, uh, we do have to, you know, obviously schedule a hip and knee surgery, sometimes months, maybe even, you know, many months, maybe even years out. Uh, so a lot of times people are sitting and waiting uh, for their hip or knee surgery. Um, but the myth is that, uh, and I think this is where uh, the myth comes in a lot of people think okay I've I've scheduled my surgery um, now I sit and wait um, and that is a myth that is a fallacy um, that if you speak with your surgeon speak with anyone obviously you want to get started as soon as possible uh, because the sooner you start in in various activities and different things um, you know a healthy lifestyle changes um, the better and the easier your recovery will be um, so it's very important you know when you figure out you know I would say start now even if you aren't looking to have a hip and knee surgery um, but if you are you know have scheduled that you know start there's certain exercises Exercises, things that you can start to do, um, you know, healthy diet, different things that you can do um, that will aid not only in your life and in your your well-being and your your health and wellness currently, but also will aid in the recovery um, and the ability for you to recover uh, a lot a lot easier um, and a lot uh, more quickly or quicker, if you will. Um, so the first the first myth is that you know a lot of people think, okay, I've scheduled my my. Um, my surgery um, is scheduled for six months, nine months from now, you know, I'm just going to sit and wait because when it happens, you know, that, that's, that's the end of the, you know, that'll be it. Um, so I, I don't have to do anything sort of pre-op. Um, that is definitely a fallacy. You definitely need to, uh, there's a lot of stages or steps that you can take uh, pre-op that you can do that will definitely aid, obviously, in your current uh, health and wellness and well-being, but also in your recovery and make your recovery that much quicker and easier and painless. Um, not that it will be painless, but that much quicker and easier and painless, less pain. Um, so 
you know, we were talking with a lady here actually uh, probably about three weeks ago. Um, she was about six months out from uh, her her operation. She was going in for knee surgery um, on, I believe it was on her right right knee. Um, anyway, she was, she had, you know, obviously had, you know, quite young, you know, I think she was in her sort of mid fifties, uh, you know, had, had been, you know, obviously having pain for many years, uh, was then going in for um, knee surgery. Uh, so she, you know, it was about six months out. She was already starting to look at different activities that she could do um, that would improve her strength, improve not only the, the, the weak knee or the knee that was going to be operated on, but also her overall fitness um, by you know potentially losing some weight and different things of that nature, which she had been told, and obviously rightfully so, would obviously aid in her recovery. Um, so the first of the three myths um, that we're going to look at uh, around recovery made easy and how to basically uh, recover from replacement surgery without all the misery is the first myth is shattered I believe is that you sit and wait um, so sitting and waiting is definitely not uh, what you want to do do not sit and wait um, now's the day to now's the time to start uh, your plan of action your course of action towards uh, your your surgery obviously you're having surgery you know the idea is that you want to improve your mobility regain your freedom independence and mobility so you know now's the time to start um, the second um, myth I believe um, this one's more around um, the actual, you know, once your surgery has happened, um, maybe slightly pre-op, but definitely once your surgery has happened, uh, the myth around physio. Um, and what, what, what the myth is, the myth is that, A, obviously you need physio, obviously you need to rehab, obviously you need to, you know, address and, and, and do physio and, and recover from uh, the surgery and obviously build up your, your strength and you know, build up the, the range of motion and activity and through you know, progressive uh, increased activities, you know, get back or, or regain um, you know, maybe where you once were uh, with your health and wellness. Uh, but the, the, the myth though is that often that you know, physio ends in the clinic. I think that's the myth, that physiotherapy ends in the clinic. Um, we work with a number of different physio clinics uh, in, in around here at the mobility shop. Um, we've talked with a number, number of physiotherapists. Um, you know, we've talked with a lot of the patients uh, and, 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 and people that come through our doors around physiotherapy and what it is that they're doing. You know, one of the things that shocks me, and I think it was you know, a bit of a shock when I first heard this a number of years ago, uh, was how how quickly um, you're on your feet, how quickly after surgery they have you walking and they have you, you know, building that, that range of motion um, in your joints, whether it's your hip or your knee, and how quickly they get you into physio. But I think what a lot of people think is, I, I go to my physiotherapist once, twice a week, whatever it is. Maybe some people aren't even, you know, I've, I remember uh, this is probably about a, two months ago, we were speaking with a lady you know, and this is actually a very unfortunate situation, you know, she was was unable to make it to physio um, and she was unable to, I think, you know, at the time afford even, you know, a taxi to get to physio. She didn't have a vehicle. She couldn't ride the bus, obviously. You know, she didn't have anyone to really take her to physio. Um, so she, you know, it's kind of a shame. She had, you know, I believe it was a hip surgery. Um, it doesn't really matter, but a hip or knee. She had surgery, which was supposed to improve her life. The likelihood of her recovering and, and actually having that improve her life are extremely reduced or limited by the fact that she's not doing physio. But I think the, the myth is that you, only, you can only do physio at the physio clinic. And I think having spoken to physiotherapists, and I'm sure they'll reiterate this, and I'm sure your surgeon and, and whoever will reiterate this, physio doesn't end at the physio clinic. Uh, physio is an ongoing thing. Uh, rehab and recovery are an ongoing thing. These are things that you need to take steps or stages that you need to take um, that will aid in the recovery. And there's a lot of different things, a lot of points um, that will help you in your recovery if you're able to do them. And these are things that you can do at home, um, things that you can do you know, at your workplace. Well, you're, we wouldn't be at your workplace. I take that back. Um, at home, you know, things that you can do you know, where, where you're not required to only wait for your physio visit, which might be, you know, 
as much as daily to you know a couple times a, a week to maybe once a week. Um, so you know, typical recovery you're looking at you know probably four, six, maybe eight weeks depending on the recovery uh, process. But that's you know, there's a lot of time there where you're not at a physio, but you can still be aiding in your recovery, making your recovery that much easier, that much quicker, uh, and obviously getting to a point that much further along um, in your recovery a lot quicker. So the second, the second myth is that physio ends at the clinic or physio ends at the clinic. Um, I've just put their physio. So first two, obviously we've got um, that you sit and wait is the first myth. You know, I think that uh, goes without saying that you, know, you can start now in your recovery, start now, you know, pre-op in, in sort of prepping uh, so that your recovery is easier. Um, myth number two is that physio ends um, at the clinic. So it's, it's interesting, you know, a lot of people, you know, they'll, they'll basically wait for their physio and basically sit on their, you know, sit a, at home and do nothing the rest of the day, the rest of the week, the rest of the time. And they won't realize that that's, that's not going to aid in their recovery. So it's that sort of internal motivation, obviously, of, you know, you have surgery to improve your life, you know, so now's the time, maybe you've, maybe you've, uh, you know, sacrificed your health in it previously, previous to this point, but now's the time to really step up and, um, and basically take, take the control into your own hands of your recovery. Um, the third, the third of the three myths, and this one is probably tied to the other two, uh, but I think it's, it's, it's maybe the, you know, the biggest myth of the three, and it ties into the whole recovery and the pre-op and everything. Um, it's that this is a magic pill or some sort of, you know, I'm going to get my hip or knee replaced, and all of a sudden, poof, I'm going to be able to run a marathon and I don't have to do anything because now I have a new hip or knee um, and I don't have to do anything to actually recover or to to upkeep uh, my movement and range of motion and mobility. It's just going to be some sort of magic pill. Um, that being said, also, uh, one thing that, you know, obviously you've chosen to have a hip or knee surgery that is going to aid or improve your life. Now is also a chance, um, you know, talking about magic pill is also a chance to look at your diet, to look at your overall health, um, your activity levels, and to try to look at improving um, your overall health. So looking at your diet, looking at your activities, you know, so there's the recovery phase, you know, the immediate recovery, but I think something that's, that's often overlooked is, okay, I have a new hip, you know, I went through the three, four, six week, eight week recovery process, um, now I'm good, I'm, you know, I'm the bionic man, I've got, uh, you know, a new hip, I'm, I'm good and I'll just revert back to my old way of life. Um, I think with the new hip, it's a new lease on life or the new knee, you know, double knee, whatever it is, uh, double hip surgery, it's a new lease on life. Now's the chance or now's the time to reevaluate some of your health choices, some of your health decisions. Um, so it's not a magic pill, but it is a, a, a new opportunity or a new chance uh, for you to recover um, and to recover or to regain your mobility, regain your health, regain your activity. You know, so the reason you chose to do this is so that you can now get out, you know, obviously maybe meet up with family and friends, get out to, you know, activities, get out of the house, you know, go see your grandkids, go to, you know, mention church or other activities or go to a baseball game or go to whatever it is that is your passion. You know, that this is giving you a new lease on life, you know, so don't squander it uh, by thinking or, or reducing the recovery phase and then the after phase as well, um, the aftercare, um, which I think is often overlooked as well is the aftercare. I mean, we all want to lose weight and then nobody realizes that there's, you know, you need to sustain that, um, you know, over, over a longer period of time, right? So it's easy to maybe recover and get sort of to a certain point and then give up and think, okay, I'm, I've, I've, I've achieved enough. Now I'm just going to leave it. Um, and I think that's taking that next step of looking at uh, the after recovery. So with that being said, here at the mobility shop, does that make sense? 
hopefully that makes sense to everyone. You know, we're looking at uh, sit and wait. You know, I would assume you guys, is anyone, you know, want to give me a little a bit of a like? Uh, click the like button. Uh, you know, if you're sitting and waiting, obviously you want to, you know, look to, uh, to different pre-op, you know, opportunities where you can improve upon uh, your health, wellness, and well-being. So different activities, you know, be different diet, um, different things of that nature. Um, you know, you look at physio, you know, in the recovery phase, the immediate recovery phase and long term, you know, we, the myth is that physio ends basically um, at the physio clinic, uh, which is not true. So that's myth number two. Um, myth number two is that physio ends at the physio clinic. And does that make sense? Let me know if that makes sense. Give me a like um, if that makes sense. And number three is the f aspect of a magic pill. So this is not a magic pill. It is something, it is something that's going to improve your life, uh, but it's not the magic pill in that you, you, there's no effort needed on your part. So I'm gonna make you guys an offer. I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna make you an offer. Um, this is basically the re uh, Recovery Made Easy package. Uh, so there's a, a number of different things um, in the package uh, that we've sort of put together, you know, as mentioned in discussions with, um, you know, the orthopedic surgeons specifically here at North York General and Sunnybrook, uh, which are two of the hospitals uh, fairly close proximity to us, uh, as well as a number of physiotherapy clinics in our immediate proximity uh, so we've put together a bit of a package that we think um, it's an idea a, a series of things that will help you um, to basically make your recovery or recovery made easy so make your recovery uh, that much easier um, so the first of which so we'll look at here recovery made easy um, the first of which is uh, we're gonna look at is we've decided to come up with a package called um, sorry, we've come up with something called the waiting game. Okay, so the waiting game is essentially, um, you know, I actually was talking with a gentleman, uh, I think it's about a couple days ago, I don't know, maybe last week. Anyways, uh, was talking about, uh, again, actually it was the same day so two different people I mentioned the gentleman earlier who actually was in the wait playing the waiting game um, who was basically just looking at our wire our stream there who was basically waiting um, had been waiting for an extended period of time he had decided to go down to the states unfortunately there was another gentleman that was here um, that same day um, who didn't quite have that option obviously it's quite expensive you know to, to make that choice um, but he was waiting um, and one of the things that struck me he mentioned that he was doing was he you know he realized that obviously you know before sort of going through the process speaking with the surgeon you know that that um, that there were things that he could do. And so he mentioned that he'd started walking, um, even though it was, it was painful, he had started going for walks um, with, with his, I believe it was with his daughter. Um, you know, so he's going for walks with his daughter on a regular basis. So maybe not daily, but you know, every couple of days and at least starting to, to maybe get a little bit of, you know, gain strength back um, in, in, his, uh, in his hip, in his ge just general strength. Right, and get a little bit of activity going, um, because there are definitely um, exercises that you can do. You know, light exercises, range of motion exercises that you can do pre-op. You know, whether it's six months out, three months out, one month out, that you can do that will aid in strengthening your core, strengthening your the muscles in around your hips. And, and, and knees and joints that will obviously aid in the recovery process of, uh, of your hip surgery or knee surgery. So the first thing is recovery made easy. The first thing we'd like to offer you is we'd like to offer you uh, the waiting game. So the waiting game is basically it's a six week course um, where we've put together um, essentially uh, sort of five, five quick um, exercises per week where you can follow along it's quite simple follow along um, from the comfort of your own home just simple ideas um, of how to uh, basically you know prep for your uh, for your surgery so for your replacement surgery so the waiting game you know typically you're looking at it's it's a six week uh, sort of course if you will uh, six sessions six modules um, each module has five sort of activities, you know, based on 
leading up to your surgery. So it's good to do in the pre pre op six week pre op um, to get you know it's just sort of a a pre op obviously pre op. Uh, building your uh, core strength and different exercises, different tips, tricks. Um, there's a bit of a dietary thing in there as well. Um, so basically it's it's a thing called, uh, mentioned the waiting game. So, you know, approximate value of about $297. Uh, so we're gonna offer you that. Um, the next thing that we're going to offer you is, um, so we've got the, so let's, what happened there? Let's see, we've got the waiting game. Um, so the waiting game, about $297 value. Uh, the next thing we're going to offer you, and this is something that we have worked with um, physiotherapists over the past three months in preparation for launching this. Um, we are going to offer you um, physio on your phone. So talked a little bit about the myth of physio ending at the clinic. Um, so something that we've worked on, um, it's a, it's again, it, this is a far more intensive, but it's a six week, essentially um, fully fledged physiotherapy program, daily physiotherapy program. Uh, it's about an hour per day, five days a week, over six weeks um, that you can get. Um, and it's basically a package um, you get on your phone. Um, so it's, it's, it's five days a Monday through Friday or whatever five days you want, uh, five days a week of basically f activities, tips and, and different advice around uh, physio that you can do at your home or wherever you are. So it's physio on your phone. Um, so I was speaking, this actually came about, so again, talking with physiotherapists, talking with you know the orthopedic surgeons, talking with other healthcare professionals um, around the recovery process. And the biggest thing, you know, I mentioned one of the actually retiring uh, surgeons that I was talking to probably about a year ago now, uh, we work, we do this ortho walk uh, with the hospital. Um, you know, mentioned that, you know, a lot of people have talked about magic pill, talked about physio ending at the clinic. Uh, a lot of people think, hey, I, I have this surgery and I'm done. You know, I, I've got it. I, I, you know, I'm not going to do anything. And they don't realize that A, you've just had surgery. B, you've just replaced a, a, a part of your body, you know, the muscles, the, the, the tendons, the ligaments, everything seizes up. And if you don't very quickly, and this is why they get you walking. And I was asking him the question, you know, why, do, how do they, how do they, why do, why are people walking so quickly after a hip or knee surgery? And obviously, you know, he said, obviously the, the second you let it sort of, um, stagnate or, uh, what's the term? Um, atrophy so like ma muscles at atrophy after the surgery you let them just sit right that's why when you have your your leg in a cast for a long period of time or you know your hand in a cast you know obviously the muscles atrophy you know and they become weaker you know and they're not able to um, you know you have to then obviously do physiotherapy to build up the strength so the, th the same holds true with your hip or your knee surgery is that the muscles do atrophy and that you know you need to build up that strength and you need to buy you need to uh, basically um, promote blood flow to the to the area you need to basically get uh, the blood flowing get things moving um, and then you know it's this is sort of a, a give and take actually you need a bit of blood flow but you also need to reduce the swelling so to talk a little bit about that as well you know with things like cryotherapy and other other different things that will re reduce swelling pressure um, you know ice obviously elevation and rest um, you know a simple peer which you know maybe people have learned in the past or rice is another uh, acronym for you know for looking at uh, soft tissue injuries or wounds um, and recovery for them. So rice is rice, rest, ice, compression, elevation. Peer is pressure, ice, elevation, rest. Anyways, whatever you think the, the, the order they should be in. Um, pressure is the newer one, obviously pressure is important. Not to, divulge, to divert a little bit, but so we're gonna offer you, you know, the waiting game, which is, as I mentioned, it's a six week pre-op uh, program that you can do from the comfort of your own home. Uh, we're also going to offer you uh, the physio on your phone, which I think is a revolutionary uh, product, probably never seen before. Um, and it's something that I think will aid in your recovery. Um, 100%, you know, and as I mentioned, talking with a lot of these different uh, surgeons, you know, this is this has been taken from 
their advice. It is put together with the the sort of in conjunction with physiotherapists. So it's the it's the so we've got the um, the waiting game, the physio on your phone. Uh, just out of curiosity, does this make sense to everyone? Hopefully, give me a like if you like so far um, what what you're getting. Um, the third thing is uh, we're going to offer you a. <laughs> And this might seem funny to some people. We're going to offer you the hipster diet. So, the hipster diet. Not as in the hipster, you know, with a bun on the back of his head and, you know, talking about the hip. Hip and knee. So, this is it's just a play on words, but it's, it's a diet um, that is specially designed um, to obviously aid in, you know, certain uh, nutritional uh, improvements in nutritional elements uh, whether it's you know various uh, nutrients vitamins and certain things that are going to aid in recovery um, as well as you know aid in things you know you're going to be you know having blood thinners like warfarin and other things so these are uh, it's a sort of a diet specifically designed uh, for um, for recovery from you know from surgery or from you know basically other there's there's a lot of applications for the diet but we're going to give you essentially a 12 week diet so we're going to look at the 6 weeks po uh, pre as well as the 6 weeks post we're going to give you a set diet you know that will go through walk you through a daily diet of what you need to eat what are some of the things you need to look at what are the things you need to be aware of um, so that you can um, speed and aid in the recovery of your um, of from your hip or knee surgery so look at that so we you know we've got obviously the three things you know talked about uh, the waiting game so the waiting game it's a six week course pre pre-op course um, gonna, you know, you're looking at a pretty good value there about two hundred ninety seven dollars um, you've got physio on your phone essentially it's like getting 30 sessions of physio you know and physio can cost anywhere from you know a hundred to two hundred and fifty dollars per session so you're gonna get 30 one-hour sessions or 30 days worth of physio on your phone so you're looking at you know approximately twenty nine hundred two thousand nine hundred seventy dollar value um, sort of did a ninety nine dollar a day I believe there um, and then the hipster diet so it's just a simple 12-week diet you know we're gonna give you we're not actually giving you the food uh, but we're gonna give you the diet or basically a meal plan um, that you can use uh, in your recovery and in your pre-op as well as in your recovery uh, to aid in your recovery so again looking at different types of food nutrients um, vitamins minerals that you'll need to aid in your recovery and help with maybe some of the medication that you're going to be on as well so it talked about warfarin and other other uh, things there as well so blood thinners and stuff so the next one is um, of course, where would we be? We're at the mobility shop if we didn't include a hip and knee kit. Um, so we've got the waiting game, which is the uh, six weeks prior course prior to your um, to your surgery. You've got the physio on your phone, which is a which is a six week course. It's thirty in home physiotherapy sessions from the comfort of your home uh, five per week over a six week period uh, plus you've got the hipster diet which is a 12 week uh, diet uh, geared around uh, your basically your recovery and 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 foods and, and nutrition so health and wellness because obviously you know mate one thing that I didn't even mention is you know losing a bit of weight obviously will help in your recovery as well and not only that but help in in the use of your hip or knee surgery um, and then obviously we'd be remiss here if at the mobility shop we didn't offer you a hip and knee kit um, and that hip and knee kit includes uh, basically, you know, we deal with a lot of people that come in here uh, from the various hospitals uh, with their sort of pre-op list uh, or sometimes post-op list. Uh, basically, it includes a transfer bench. It includes a shower seat. Um, it includes a two-wheel walker and it includes a raised toilet seat. Um, so you're looking at, you know, roughly $299 uh, of value there, uh, give or take. Yeah, you're looking at, sorry, well, you throw in the, I guess they got the shower seat there. So yeah, $357 uh, in value there um, with, the, with the shower seat, the transfer bench, 
um, the two-wheel walker, and then the raised to toilet seat. So yeah, you look at $357 there in value. Um, so that's that's the hip and knee kit. Um, you know, so right now you'll get that will be included in the package. So. So far, so good. You've got four things. You've got the waiting game, the physio on the phone, the um, the hipster diet, and then obviously the hip and knee kit, uh, which is, you know, here at the mobility shop, that's what we do offer. Um, we're going to offer those. So the waiting game, the physio on the phone, the hipster diet, the hip and knee kit, um, and then the free shipping. So it's very simple, free shipping. So we're gonna ship out the hip and knee kit. Uh, everything else is basically digital. You're able to download it on your phone, uh, but the free shipping, so we will ship out the free, uh, the uh, hip and knee kit, which includes the, the items. The transfer bench, the shower, the shower seat, the two wheel walker, and then the raised toilet seat. Um, so there you have it. So you've got the waiting game, so, talking to a lady actually, uh, I don't know if it was on Thursday or Friday uh, of last week. Anyways, talking to her about, again, you know, waiting for her hip surgery. Um, you know, we see them a couple a day actually, because uh, we're very close to the hospital here. Um, you know, waiting for her hip surgery uh, was just, you know, was talking about how, you know, how excited she was and how you know she's looking forward to the ability for her to get up and get out and do different things you know and sort of knowing that we were going to be launching this i asked the question you know what what are you doing sort of pre-op like what is the surgeon you know obviously i know the surgeons typically give you a bit of a checklist or things that you need to do um but what what was she actually doing and you know unfortunately she said you know at this time she you know she she feels like you know, she's just not able to do anything, right? The pain is too great, you know, it's too difficult. Um, so I, I, I was able to actually give her a couple different tips of things that she could do. Um, and she actually came back in on the weekend, um, just after a couple of days, I think it was maybe two, three days, um, and mentioned how, you know, the one thing that I had mentioned to her um, had, had sort of changed um, her perspective on some things, right? As far as, you know, the, the range of motion and, and understanding that, you know, just because she's waiting for the surgery doesn't mean that she can't start prepping for it now. Um, so there was a couple of things that we had talked about. So it's kind of interesting to see, you know, even, you know, it, it's, it's being put in place already, right? And, you know, we're starting to see people, you know, reacting to this and you know gaining or, or improving from this or getting the benefits from it already and we, we're, we haven't even launched it yet so um, we're in the process of launching it as you see right here you're the first to see this this is the recovery made easy um, so we've got the waiting game what's the waiting game the waiting game is a pre-op uh, course six-week course uh, where we're going to basically go over and give you tips, tricks, um, exercises, you know, some dietary things um, and that, you know, will improve your recovery or make your recovery that much quicker or easier. Um, we've got the physio on the phone. So the physio on the phone, hopefully I, you guys see the value in that. It's, you know, basically 30, uh, so five per week over six weeks, 30 uh, physio sessions on the, on your phone, basically that you can do at your home. So they're, they're, they're basically um, activities designed to be done from the comfort of your own home um, so you can basically do it and it's you know it's somewhat of a motivator you know talk about the next one here but it, it having these types of things uh, that you can pace and monitor yourself with uh, are key um, so then we've got the hipster diet it's a 12-week dietary program uh, where we're gonna just basically give you uh, we'll give you we'll literally give you uh, the diet that you need to follow uh, for your recovery um, and then you've got your hip and knee kit uh, it goes without saying your transfer bench your shower seat your two-wheel walker and then your raised toilet seat um, all of which are obviously recommended by your surgeon and your physician and physio and and whoever for to aid in your recovery your immediate recovery um, and then lastly uh, but not leastly I think and I touched on it briefly is we're going to offer you a thing called Motivation Mondays. So we are going to offer a live uh, webinar, or not live webinar, sorry, a live broadcast 
uh, with a physiotherapist or with uh, a surgeon or myself or whoever uh, where we're going to go over and just talk about little things. We're going to get your feedback. We're going to get your, your, your you know, tips on things that you've done, things that have helped you um, that can maybe start to motivate others to maybe get started. So depending on what, what uh, stage you're at, you're going to get uh, motivation Mondays. You're going to get the ability to join in uh, on the Motivation Mondays, uh, basically uh, live broadcast. Uh, it'll be typically a live Facebook broadcast where other people will also be on here and get a chance to talk with them. So, all of those things, uh, we'll we'll look at all those things. So you've got them all. You've got the waiting game, the physio on your phone, uh, the hipster diet. Uh, the obviously the the hip and knee kit free shipping and then motivation Mondays so all of those things are a package um, so right now the package if you add all of those things up the package would be uh, you're looking at about four thousand dollars four thousand and seventy five dollars so you've got the waiting game which is a pre-op uh, course six-week course the physio on your phone which is a post-op uh, six-week intensive five five sessions a week over six weeks so 30 session physio on your phone uh, you've got the hipster diet it's a 12-week dietary program for recovery you've got the hip and knee kit which is essentially the basically the essentials uh, for hip you know the essential equipment you need uh, transfer bench shower seat two-wheel walker and raised toilet seat you've got free shipping of all those to you um, and then you've got the Motivation Mondays, which is a live webinar where all people, there are 110,000 hip and knee surgeries on an annual basis right here in Canada. So hopefully all 110,000 people will be on there giving each other motivation, helping each other out. Um, we'll create a little, a little Facebook group where we will have a Motivational Monday every Monday to get everyone back on track after the weekend, after your... Um, after your You've lounged around and eaten poorly over the weekend. So, all of that uh, typically would be four thousand and seventy-five dollars. So, does that sound like something that you guys would want? Um, let me know. Put a little comment there. Um, what I'm going to say though is, uh, for today and as part of this promo launch, uh, we're going to offer that entire package. So, you're looking at four thousand seventy-five dollars. We're not going to charge you $4,075. It is going to be all of that. So you've got the waiting game, which is the six weeks prior pre-op, uh, $297 value. You've got the physio on the phone, which is essentially 30 physiotherapy sessions on your phone. You can do from the comfort of your own home. So it's a six week program for after recovery. Um, you've got the hipster diet which is you know, a 12 week course, probably $87 is probably low for what it actually is worth. Um, I mean, if you go to you know, some of these uh, other programs, dietary programs, you're looking at 12, 15, $30 a week. So you do that over a, you know, over a 12 week period, you're looking at you know, three, four, $500 value. Um, so I, we've probably undervalued that there. You've got the hip and knee kit, which is, you know, as mentioned, about three, $357. Um, you know, you've got the four items there, transfer bench, shower seat, two wheel walker, raised toilet seat and the free shipping. And then the motivational Mondays, which is the live broadcast with all of us physios and surgeons. And we're going to basically get you motivated to recover, to pre-op, to get you on board with, with what you need to do to make your recovery easy. Or as the state, this title said, Recovery made easy. So, recovery made easy. So, if you want to get this and more, um, <laughs> all you need to do does that. I mean, this. I'm. I'm basically this. This one thing I, I'll say here um, is, you know, that I'm, we're we're doing this. You know, obviously, like we could sit here and just say, oh yeah, come in and grab, um, you know, a a raised toilet seat and and different things. And you know, I I think you know, it's this isn't necessarily for my benefit. Um, you know, I don't benefit from this in any way. You know, whether you get all of these, uh, you know, sort of things, it's it's basically for your benefit. Um, at the end of the day, you're the one that's having the hip or 
knee surgery you're the one that's getting you know the replacement um you know so it's it's probably in your best interest you know to really prep and plan for it um and then obviously once it's once you've had it uh to to do things that aid in the recovery of uh, to aid in your recovery and make your recovery that much easier and that much more sustained because the idea it is a new lease on life you're you're getting a new lease on life you're getting a new knee new hip two new hips two new knees um, you're gonna if if done correctly you know if you're able to maybe lose a bit of weight you know ha get a healthier diet um, aid in your recovery you know speed your recovery build build you know range motion muscle strength uh, regain some muscle strength build that all up your your post op self will be that much further ahead than you could have ever imagined um, and that's truly why you know we wanted to put something like this together is that it's you know it's it's one thing to say okay yeah you've had your hip and knee surgery you know the, we talked about the myths you know sitting and waiting to pre-op you know and then you know, obviously just waiting for your once a week physio uh you know clinic session and then you know thinking that hey i've had a surgery it's 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 over i'm gonna this is all that's that I need, um, you know, that's not the case. So there's a lot that goes into it. We'd love to help you. Um, so we've put this package together. You know, if you want it, um, it's pretty simple. Uh, there's a button below. Click the button below. Uh, fill out your details. Let us know where to ship. Obviously, the the hip and knee kit. Uh, there'll be a download link for the various uh, the various other. Uh, sessions so the waiting game the waiting game which is the six week pre-op uh, educational program giving you tips tricks exercises a bit of nutrition um, pre-op uh, the physio on your phone which I think is a revolutionary thing revolutionary in that you're going to get uh, basically so I won't say private but you're gonna get a privatized specific program physio program where you're going to get a six-week program that you can follow along from the comfort of your own home uh, with exercises and different things activities that will enable you to speed and and yeah speed your recovery and make your recovery that much easier and obviously make the benefit of your surgery that much greater in the long term right so it's not only just about recovery but it's about the actual end result being that much better and then you're going to get number three is the hipster diet uh, so you know looked at that I think it's probably undervalued here uh, probably a three hundred dollar value if you will uh, but you're going to get uh, 12 weeks of uh, basically tailored diet to you know somebody for, with a hip or knee surgery uh, looking at the you know specific nutrients um, you know the the various uh, caloric intake and different things that you need to look at when you're uh, recovering from and and the different types of vitamins minerals nutrients types of foods that you should be looking at to eat um, to aid in your recovery and then obviously in your in your uh, post-op life um, you get the hip and knee kit it's about $357 value. You get the various tools, the tools that you need, uh, the equipment that you need for your recovery. Uh, that's those we have here at the mobility shop. You know, your transfer bench, your shower seat, your two wheel walker, and then the raised toilet seat. Um, and then you get the free shipping. So all of that shipped to you free. And then finally, you get the Motivation Mondays, which I think is probably, you know, long term, maybe the most beneficial. It's, uh, it's basically a, it's a online um, community where we are going to do a live broadcast on a weekly basis Monday mornings uh, where we'll have you know orthopedic surgeons come in while we'll physiotherapists come in different people coming in myself and we'll just basically talk with all of you people that are out there that are in the process of you know pre-op the waiting game uh, whether you're you know whether you're very close to operation whether maybe sitting in the operating uh sorry in the recovery room at the hospital or whether you're post-op and you're you know, in your immediate recovery or you know after the six to eight weeks once you've so-called recovered you know it's the you know the aftercare um so you can still remain part of the group and we will look at you know motivating you every monday to be a better you get out different activities different thoughts different um lessons that you can maybe you know take home with you so if you're if this sounds like something that you would want be sure to click the button below um does that let me and there's uh we're gonna go through here we'll ask 
we'll uh, leave this up here. Let me know if you have any questions, uh, considerations. Be sure to leave it in the messages below. Uh, let me know if you like what we're doing here. Uh, be sure to follow us here on uh, the Mobility Shop Live. And for the Mobility Shop Live, I hope you have enjoyed our time here together. Um, be sure to get uh, your Recovery Made Easy package, uh, $499, value of four th over $4,000 value for only $499, includes all the various things that we mentioned. Um, on that note, I will leave you to it, and I look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Have yourselves a great day, and here's to a speedy and safe recovery. Thanks again and have yourself a very nice day.